In this short video, I will show you how to use the clone tool to uh, either make copies of objects or make them disappear slightly as good as we can. The clone tool is this one that looks like a rubber stamp. It's got its own settings on top here. Uh, it's uh, got a default value of 21 on my computer, maybe different on yours. We're going to be using the regular mode, just normal, at 100% opacity. And we will be sampling the current layer. We only have the one layer, just the background. We could actually be uh, sampling more, but for this demonstration, just the background. The clone tool is just a brush that will get its source from uh, your selection. You can make your selection by hovering over the image and clicking a spot while pressing the Alt key. I'm pressing the Alt key now. My uh, brush turns into a target. I'm going to target this cow here. I'm releasing the Alt button and now I have my brush and you can see the cow's head sort of floating around with me. I'm going to make the uh, brush a little bit larger. Notice that I'm using 0% hardness. This will make for a smoother clone. So I am now going to start clicking and just drawing the brush. Notice the target stays on the object that we selected on the cow and now I have a copy of a cow. This is all done in the same layer and the same background layer I should say. So if you wanted to be making a clone that you could move around you would be better served to click on a new layer and uh, clone there. I made the selection on the cow while the background layer was still active so it will carry on to the next layer. The layer 1 that I just created is now the active layer so anything that I copy will now be copied onto the new layer and you'll see a little speck appear over here as I just did that. I'll hide it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you'll see that we copied the cow and some of the grass around it. We can fix it up a little bit using uh, the eraser tool, which is a couple of clicks below the clone stamp we're using. I'm going to uh, just erase a little bit outside and get rid of some of that grass. My brush here was a little bit harder, so actually it was at 100%. Let me reduce that just to get a little bit of a smoother edge around the cow. That way, when I make the background active again and uh, zoom out, I can move the cow around a little bit and uh, the grass won't be that big of a deal. Another quick way to clone a selection that's already been duplicated is to hover over the object in the layer that we just made. I'm going to click the Alt key and you'll see that the cursor changes from a regular single arrow to a double arrow while clicking Alt. I'm going to click and drag and I can make multiple copies of the little cow here. If I wanted to make a cow disappear, I'm going to turn off the other layers right now. Let's say I want to get uh, this new clone cow out of the picture. I'll zoom in a little bit just for clarity. I'll use the clone stamp tool. I'm going to use a larger brush again, maybe at 54. My selection is still made on top of the cow. However, I will now change it to the grass behind it and uh, start to copy the grass and just make it disappear. So I cloned that patch of grass and the cow is gone. For this assignment, turn in either uh, clones of the cattle, you can clone the barn, you can clone a tree if you want. Uh, you can also make things disappear if you want to uh, get rid of a, a couple of head of cattle or the fence or the barn itself. That will count as your assignment. 